chance to see. All right, so here we go. All right, so go into the Moodle, Poodle. Okay, this is the Poodle website. Now you can download it not only onto your Moodle and install it, actually. You download it and you can install it on a Moodle, but you need to have, you need to know the uh, C panel. You do it through a C panel or through the back channel back end of Moodle. Okay, so you need someone to do it for you. Otherwise, you can also download it and install it in your website. And the, in addition, if you don't want to install it, you can go into the audio recorder and you can have your students record online. That means if you go to record audio, on the top left it'll allow you to record right now okay you can record right now and then you can share the recording with anyone all right so if I click on record now I'm able to do that how many of you found the record Okay, just um, you also get information here about Justin Hunt who developed it not much because Justin is very very well not shy but he's very very modest so he doesn't really um, talk very much about what he's doing so you can actually get a chance to record through your browser in addition if you found it in addition if you go into poodle widgets it's just below the image of the dog of the poodle you'll see poodle widgets if you go into the poodle widgets you'll learn that it's not only about audio and video recorders. It's also about some amazing things like a stopwatch. You can actually add a stopwatch. Right now it's just an image, but I have added this to one of my websites and maybe Thomas has seen it. In addition, Poodle also has a whiteboard just under the stopwatch. Now why is a stopwatch important? You can connect a YouTube video with a stopwatch and have your students write down every time they hear a certain word. There's also a whiteboard and there's Jason there, Justin, sorry. And there are other things that Poodle has and all kinds of ideas like how to use a dice. Justin, because he's uh, an English language teacher, he's developing different things for students to interact with the content and with one another. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to go into the demo. If you click on the demo, you'll get a chance to try out Poodle. Okay, so click on demo. Notice that Poodle, there it is. Okay, and once you're in Poodle, this is a Moodle website, and there are instructions on how you can use it. Okay, if you want to be the admin, you write down admin, and the password is Google Poodle. If you want to go in as a user and make some changes, there are lots of users there. But right now, I suggest you go into where it says Available Courses, into Poodle Course, the Demo Course. And then you can write down Admin in the username, and then the password, if you remember, is, and if you don't remember, you can go back, 
it's Google Poodle. Okay, so Google, whoops, Google Poodle. Okay, so if you missed it, go into the demo and write down Google Poodle for the admin and then Google Poodle. Don't forget the Poodle is spelled with double L and no E, of course. Okay, so let me do that. So it's admin and then Google Poodle. And then you log in. Those of you that are not familiar with Moodle will have a chance to see the inside of a Moodle website. Moodle is just a website, by the way, but it's more than that. You can also log in as a guest and look at things. And I'd like you to explore. If you're having problems, go in as a guest. That should be easier, perhaps. Okay, so this is a place where you can explore everything that Poodle has. In addition, you can also go in. Okay, let me just find out. Let me go back to class. Okay, I'm going to um, ask you now. How many of you managed? I see a funny face on Neves. How many of you managed to go in with admin, where it said a demo admin? Oh, you were Amina. Great. You did it. Okay, wonderful. So you, oh, wonderful. Great. So you can explore that later on. I'm screen sharing here, so my system is a bit slow. Okay. Yeah, it's too slow for today, Susan. Okay. Then, Susan, you don't really, well, just to learn a little bit about the different possibilities that Poodle has, because it's not just a recorder for a video or for audio but it's much more than that there are lots of interactive activity uh, that you can add to your website you can add this to your website to your blog how many of you have blogs which is really great you're there helena wonderful uh, the password is uh, google poodle that's the password google poodle and take a look at it. In addition, I think most of you have joined the Moodle for Teachers for EVO 2014. By the way, if, um, if you know Moodle, in February, we'll also have a, uh, a place for managers. Right now, you are teachers. So for those of you who want to continue with Moodle and learn to practice a bit more, you'll have a chance to go in as managers in the Moodle MOOC three okay so that's an an idea yes lots of really great ideas for assignments and other things when is cutoff date for new members yeah that's a good question uh thomas i was thinking um now but i got an email i sent everybody an email i got an email from someone who said that she was away for 10 days so it's a good thing i didn't cut them off but i'm going to uh, anyone who comes in now will be cut off. I'll just add a, a new password and that's it. They won't be able to come in. I think um, week two is enough. So here is the uh, the link okay, to the Moodle for Teachers. If you haven't joined the Moodle for Teachers, okay, you might want to join. And the editor, right now, the editor has under the uh, multimedia it has the option of Poodle. Okay, so let me um, share that with you. Go into the Moodle for Teachers. Does everybody have the, just let me know if you have the link for Moodle for Teachers. Okay, there it is. Thank you, Thomas. So go into that 
and into the introduction. No, week two hasn't finished. Uh, it's finishing on Sunday. You're right. You're right. Neves, I haven't seen you there. I think you should join. It's amazing. Just the fact that there are so many participants and how they interact and the whole process is just amazing. So if you go in to uh, Moodle for Teachers, I'm going to go in as... Um, As a participant, okay, let me just add. If you go in into uh, one of the discussion forms, you don't have to go in as a teacher. You can go in as a student. On the editor, Okay, if you go into the course, the course is called Moodle for Teachers, and I believe that Thomas has added the link. So if you go in there, I'm screen sharing for YouTube, and you go into the introduction, which is uh, under week one so if you go into week one there's the tab you'll see start here Moodle experience and then week one in the middle of the page and you'll see introduce yourself if you click on introduce yourself and scroll down and then click on add a new discussion topic and scroll down again you can add to the subject line and just call it poodle just call it poodle intro poodle practice you know what just write down poodle practice and this way uh, will know exactly what it is even if you've introduced yourself helena or the others just write poodle practice okay that's the subject line and then you have the white part go into not the tree where it says image not the smiley but next to the smiley going from left to right it says insert moodle media you click on that And then you'll get find or upload a sound, video or applet. Click on that. And then on the left, you'll see audio recorder, poodle widgets. All these things are part of poodle. So there are widgets and you'll see them double. Okay. So click on one of them click on the allow for the video okay and then you'll see me hi okay i'm there too bad i can't screen share um i probably <laughs> wiz iq spent about three hours today trying to uh, work out my uh, windows system for the screen sharing apparatus and it worked all day all right and then you record yourself when you finish recording yourself, I'm just talking through here, you click on the stop button and then you click on next. Just underneath that it says next. After you speak, you stop, you click on next and then you're prompted with a beautiful green poodle. You click on the poodle and then select this file. Click on that. Wait a few seconds then you'll see the video and I expect to see everybody all right this this is your assignment for now you click on insert you scroll down and you post to form that's it and then your post was successfully added you click on continue so that you can take a look at it and listen to it scroll down 
Okay, there I am. You'll see Poodle Practice. You won't see my face because it's another account. And then you can see me. There I am. Click on it. And wait a few seconds. And there's the recorder. And no sound came through, I don't think. That's because I'm probably using a double system, so if you can read my lips. Try that a few times until you get it right, okay? So uh, you should be able to see me there. Let me come back to class. If I can get back to class, I think I'm lost. Okay, let me try to get back to class.